Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. We're back here with Mike Vardy, who is the creator of Productivity Ist, a really leading blog in the productivity space. Uh, I will include all of the brilliant things that Mike does in description uh, because we just did a video. You may have watched it, the day theming, uh, which dived into how Mike themes his week. But we're actually going to jump into his Todoist account now. Um, I would love personally to see how Mike organizes his Todoist. Um, but I think all of you guys, I, I, for me, I really get a lot of value when I see someone else's Todoist account because I always find a few nuggets, uh, that the way they use theirs, uh, all the concepts or frameworks that they apply to it. And I always seem to like learn something. So, uh, Mike, um, take it away. <laughs> all right. So you can see my Todoist now, right? So, yeah. um, just to give you a sense of how I kind of operate with it. So let me see if I can get the highlighting thing working here. Uh, there we go. So I'll just do the uh, spotlight thing. So that way you can see it. Um, close that. I think you can close that. In. All right. So this is my, I have, I use filters almost exclusively at this point. So I have my three absolutes that are listed here. And then I have every day of the week that's a focus. So here's three things that I need to, to look at. And I generally use my red flags. They're called my three absolutes. So you can see that I have three absolutes for today, but so far nothing for Thursday or Friday this week, right? So that's, these are things that I want. I've got a new Skillshare class I'm working on. I need to review a free email course because that's what my Skillshare class is going to become. And I need to build out a page. And you can see I've got the hyperlink there so I know what to do with it. But today is Wednesday, so I'll look at the Wednesday focus, and I can see that I have, this is my absolute, and that's what I use my red flags for. Orange are important tasks, so these are the things that are absolutely important that I need to work on. And then everything else is kind of just, you know, the, the low-level stuff that I need to work on. So these, th this is where I'll, I will start, is I'll start here, not in the today view, because today mm. is 35, yeah. but I want to look at what my daily theme is and the way that my filter is, of course, is it says, I want to see audio and video and the next 30 days. So I want to see 30 days out for this. So tomorrow, I would see all of these. these are, and there's a lot more on Thursday because it's my training day. Now, you'll notice that there's a Monday task here and it says training. That's an anomaly because I sent it to one of my coaching clients. Mm. But normally... And this one says, well, wait a minute, this is training, but administrative is my Tuesday theme. So sometimes it'll show up in two different categories, depending on if I go to the Tuesday theme, you'll actually see it here where it's like, okay, Tuesday, I need to deal with that on the 23rd. There it is sure. down back up. So you can see that some things show up in, in multiples. Hmm. I have my writing one, which is for a horizontal theme for writing. So I'm sending, these are all the different things I want to work on that are for writing. Okay. And then I have other ones like deep work, which is anything that's labeled with deep work over the next 15 days, shallow work. So these are more late. These are all label specific ones. Mm. I very rarely have project based ones. I don't sure. like to work by project very often. I prefer to work by, by modality or by label. And then of course, if I see, I want to do some five minute tasks, I can do that really quickly. And I've got things in here like set out clothes for tomorrow. Yeah. You know, things that are pretty basic that some people go, why would you need that in there? Like, it's because I just want to know that it's done. Like, yeah. I don't want to have to think about it. Um, and so those, those are my filters. And this is pretty much where I spend my day. Yeah. Now, labels, I have them organized. So this is, I'm, I'm studying a lot on character right now. So character is kind of like a, like a, almost like a life word for me. And then these are my three words for the year, redesign, rebuild, reclaim, which I talk about my Now Your Action Plan course. And then these are my daily themes, which are all in red, right? So you can see them all there. And if you watch the other video, you can see them. Then I've got green ones here, which are based on resources. So this is a resource-based mode. So email, phone, Evernote, social media, Netflix is a resource. Asana, because I use Asana with my team. There's nothing in there right now. Scrivener, which I use for writing books. Ulysses, which I use for writing everything else. And even YouTube. Mm -hmm. Then I've got shallow work, which is energy-based. Now, I have deep work up there as well, but shallow work is like anything that's going to take me very little time. Mm -hmm. Then there's activity-based ones, such as errand running, money managing, reading. Anything ending in ING shows up here. Mm -hmm. And then there's time-based ones. Now, you probably all know that if you share a project with someone, you're going to inherit their labels. 
Yeah. Right. So this is someone I'm sharing with and I do, I do what I call a label audit every mm -hmm. week. And then I just delete these. I think it's really important that if you're using this, that you keep a colored label at the mm -hmm. bottom to indicate where your labels end and other people's begin. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Because otherwise you could get them confused, especially if I'm training someone and they're using the same ones I am. Right. <laughs> oh, but if yeah. I look at projects, like, if I was to go through and work by project, you could see like there's 186, there's 350. And, and what I've done is I've organized these by, you know, area of my life. So personal stuff, you could see if I open that up, there's several projects in there. Mm -hmm. If I open up Productivityist, you will see a lot more. There's coaching, like it just goes on and on and on, mm -hmm. right? And then in professional, you could see there's a couple things there. And then the New York trip was separate which I was using, I think, to illustrate to a client how you would do something using reminders, right? So yeah. when you get to New York, location-based ones. But, it, but you're probably looking at my inbox going, why are there 25 things in your inbox? <laughs> well, the reason is I just drop things. I don't, I, I don't trust a system. I don't trust the different integrations hmm. in all the different platforms that I use enough to, um, to put them in the right project. I, hmm. I want to have very little friction when I do this. So for example... If I, I know that this probably belongs in professional, like what your LinkedIn profile should look like, but because I used a buffer, um, sorry, a Flipboard to look at this. Oh yeah. And I wanted to use the iOS extension to get it into Todoist. It was just get it into Todoist. <laughs> so every, I think I've got this going every other day. Is I'll go yeah. through this inbox and then just again the key is I add the labels first. Every task gets a label. Yeah. Uh, and then I have, and then I'll add it to the right project and I'll flag it if needed. But okay. my flags are pretty, you know, I mean, if I look at them right now, if, if I type in recurring, which I will do. So if I type in recurring, you will see something very, very, uh, and I've done this since it was actually a thing. So recurring, anything that's recurring is flagged in some way, shape or form. Yeah. And the reason, if you remember, and I know you remember this, um, is that, um, you never used to use recurring as, as a, it never was a search term before. So you yeah. had to figure out a way to make the recurring items show up near the top. <laughs> so I used the yellow flag for recurring. So yeah. red was for absolute, orange was for important, and yellow was for recurring. And I just kept that because that way I don't miss those things. So things like, you know, like here's, here's an example. And by the way, if you look, this is the, that Wednesday focus filter. I'm only seeing things on Wednesdays here. Saturday, you're going to see some stuff like today. I have to get back to eating cinnamon apples because I'm trying to get, <laughs> but look Saturday, like that's all Saturday. Yeah. And I bet you the next, yeah, see it's all Saturday. So I just have to look here. So my workflow would be as follows this. Yeah. My three absolutes Wednesday focus. And then I go to today. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I avoid doing, and then, then I have these other filters, like what emails do I need to send? Okay. Let me send all these emails. Right. So once I get past the Wednesday focus or the daily focus, the daily theme, then I have it. That's where the, it starts to splinter off. Do I go to the today view or do I go to one of these other filters that I've set up? Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of people have asked me, well, why would you set up a label, a filter that mirrors a label? Hmm. Like what, what's the point of that? Because I don't want to have to move to labels to search through all of these. I do occasionally, yeah. but it, it's much better for me to go to this. Now there are going to be some tasks in here that have no label. And the ones that have no label are either ones that are um, in the inbox still or ones that I'm sharing with a client. Mm. I try not to have, I try not to pollute their yeah. projects with my labels because I know how much of a pain it is when they <laughs> pollute theirs. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's, and I review the no label filter, I think once every, every two weeks again. Yeah. Um, the capture closet, this is like almost like a, like, again, it's like a someday maybe. Mm. So these are all things that are important, but don't have dates on them. Like yeah. anything that doesn't have a date on it. Um, but this is the way I work through it. It's very simple. Um, I think, but it, <laughs> but the thing is, is that I would use this. I could use this on paper if I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I could use this. I think the important thing with anything like this is that you want to be able to say, how can I use this in Todoist, Asana? Like, cause all these labels, by the way, I have a, I have a tag in Asana that says Todoist. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, like, what do I need to look at Todoist for in here? I mean, right now there's nothing in Asana cause I've already, I've already done it, 
But if yeah. I was to go in here and type in Asana, I think there is like recalibrate Asana. So oh, yeah. technically, yeah. this should have the Asana label on it. This is a yeah. brand new task. And I do that every Sunday on no notice planning day. Yeah. And then I can look at all that stuff. So so that's this is the way I way I use it. And of course, seeing these labels here is helpful too. Just every once in a while to look at, see if I'm use, living up to my three words and things like that. Yeah. Does, does that make sense? It does. Yeah. I really like the way you use filters. I mean, I think that something that I don't use enough is the filter section, but I really like the way that you, um, you start at the top, you move down to what day it is, and then you move on to the, the right part of the, uh, the areas you want to work on next. So it's, I think it's really and, and you can move them around too. Like I can move like, so my, my list now my master list becomes this thing and I could say, you know what? I want to move this down here. So no label. I'll, I'll look at that there. Right. Yeah. And then uh, I don't really need to see the important tasks all time. And I want to deal with just this week stuff. So I could do this like every single week if I wanted to. Yeah. Right? yeah. Recurring tasks. Like, so I could say I'm using the time-based modality more. Mm. So I'm just going to do this. And then it yeah. moves them up, right? So now I can see, oh, here's everything that needs to be done, you know, over yeah. the next week or two weeks. Yeah. Right? Like, so, I mean, I know, like, this will be easy. This is super easy for me. To, these are quick wins. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes, five minutes, five minutes. 15 ones take a little bit longer, right? Yeah. You know, 25 minute tasks, they even take longer. But it just, it gives me some place to go because my brain, and we all have this, my brain wants to do as little work as possible. Yeah, it yeah. really does. Like, it's like, <laughs> how do I just, and it's like, okay, well, what's next? Oh, I need to make this how to video. Uh, yeah. I don't have 25 minutes. Like I can see the label. Uh, I don't really have 25 minutes right now. Yeah. Oh, I edit these. This is important, but uh, oh, well I need to do this email. So I'll do this right now. What yeah. other emails can I send? Oh, here they all are. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Like, so it just gives you that, yeah. that capability. There's always, there's always something to do, right? <laughs> there's always something to do, but I want to make sure that it's directed. Not, yeah. not, not, no, not not uh, not kind of will like willy yeah. nilly or, or or just built out of nowhere. I need yeah. to know that when I look at this, that it makes a lot of sense. And like I said, like if I don't if I don't ask these, and I'm probably not going to do this today, I just yeah. go schedule. All right, well, and and the great thing is, look, again, I love this feature. Yeah, right? no, no, no. like the I have nothing due next Wednesday. Perfect. That's when it's going in. Yeah. Right. And then these other ones just kind of like, if I don't want to do these and I'm pro these are important. So I'm going to think about these a bit more before I move them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. now I know that next Wednesday and look at the following Wednesday, I only have one, like I could see that. Yeah. Right. So it's, I think that, that having this and it took me a while, but like this leads to this and then I have, then I can go anywhere. Yeah. By the time I'm facing decisions like that, my brain is I, I feel okay with it. I'm not going to yeah. feel guilty or shame by going, eh, let's just go see what shallow work I can do right now. <laughs> oh, look, I can, I can, let's have some cinnamon apples. And, yeah. Oh, I can do this really quickly. Right. Like yeah. it, I think that that's something that we don't do enough. And this, again, if, if you are using Todoist right now and I'm talking to you, um, get premium. Yeah. It's what? 29 bucks a year U S right. That's less than a dollar a day over a month <laughs> like if you, the 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 ability to choose your own labels is amazing yeah and remember labels these are my modalities right labels should be if in my estimation and, and is projects have some form of end more often than not right labels they will i will always have deep work to do i will always have fam all of these i generally will have to do forever yeah either i want to do or i need to do them yeah filters are magic like if you because you can customize it so you get filters and labels for that monthly fee you get the custom themes too you can say i'm using green if you want but that's not even the, the key is yeah the these the this is if you're not using this um then you're missing out and that's why yeah. you're not getting more out of todoist because you're not, you're not you're not leveraging those yeah, I love, I love, I love the setup here. I think it's really brilliant. And and for those who are watching that, um, maybe need a bit more clarity on the way that Mike themes his days. The previous video will help you, um, so I'll include that one in the description. But really appreciate you, Mike, coming on. I know we're a bit time sensitive, but um, it's really great that you got to show all of your to do list accounts. So 
Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's a I think it's a really um, nailed down to a T process. So uh, I think people will gain a lot of uh, value from this. So thank you very much, Mike. Thanks so much for having me. I'm glad I was able to share with. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So thank you very much uh, to Mike for coming on today. Um, if you guys uh, want to check out all of Mike's stuff, his podcast, his blog, uh, all of the brilliant content pieces that he creates will be in the description below so you can go and find all of that brilliant stuff. Uh, but thank you for stopping by. Uh, hopefully it gave you all of the stuff you needed. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.